Hello, I'm Stephen Pfeiffer, and I'm delighted that the Kiev Security Forum has invited me to share a few words with you as you mark the 30th anniversary of Ukraine's regaining its independence. I had the honor to represent the United States in Kiev as the American ambassador, and like many who served at the U.S. Embassy in Kiev, I retain a deep interest in Ukraine and its developments. Over the past three decades, Ukraine has come a long way. It's made tremendous progress. But today, it seems to me that Ukraine faces two key challenges. The first is an external challenge, and that is how to deal with the conflict that Russia has imposed upon Ukraine going back to 2014, when the Russian military illegally seized Crimea, and then Russian security and military forces provoked a conflict in Donbass, a conflict that sadly has claimed the lives of some 14,000 people. The United States and the West support Ukraine in this struggle against Russian aggression, and I fully expect that support to continue. The question here is, how can Ukraine and its friends in the West change the calculation in the Kremlin so that Moscow comes to work for a real solution to the conflict, a solution that allows Ukraine to fully restore sovereignty over all Ukrainian territory? The second challenge is more of a domestic challenge. And while Ukraine has made great progress, there is still more to do to realize that critical mass of reforms that would allow Ukraine to realize its full potential. Ukraine has done much in this area. When I talk to American audiences, I often cite the fact that there have been six presidential elections in Ukraine since it regained independence. And in four of those six elections, the president ran, the incumbent ran for re-election. And in three of those four elections, the incumbent lost. That's a record that's very rare in the post-Soviet space, and that's a credit to Ukraine, to Ukrainians, and to Ukrainian democracy. Ukraine needs to do more to solidify the institutions of democracy, but it's made great progress in this area. Where I think the focus now needs to be for Ukrainians is how do you open up the rich economic potential of the country? Steps to deal with corruption, to promote more economic competition, to curb and reduce the outsized political and economic influence of the oligarchs, to reform the judicial sector. These kinds of steps, if pursued seriously, can create a situation in which incomes rise, living standards rise, and that's going to be good for Ukrainians, but it's also going to build a Ukrainian state that will be more resilient and better able to stand up to Russian aggression. I hope that Ukraine can make this progress, I fully expect the West to be a supportive partner of Ukraine, and I look forward to the day when Ukraine will be a full and normal member of Europe in every sense of the word. Thank you.